Hey guys, how's it going? I am uh, saying hello and coming back. Abigail, Abigail. This is Abigail Love. Um, her name came from Abigail, from um, a, um, a person in the Bible actually, which is a really great story. We're going to get into right now. And then her real name is Love, and that's after Elvis Presley's mom, who's Gladys Love. So that's our cat. But hello, um, long time no see. Very nice to see you all. Um, even though I do enjoy the phrase no excuses sometime, I am going to go ahead and apologize and just say I'm sorry that I've kind of disappeared. I'm sure that I'm not the only one that's kind of fallen in and fallen out. Um, but you know, it's nothing personal and I, um, honestly, I, I feel I'm very humbled by everyone in the community who has um, ever been a friend of mine. And um, if you're watching this video and you saw this on your feed and you were interested enough, that noise you're going to hear is my cat spinning a ball around a spinning thing. Um, if you're still interested and you, when you see a video of mine come up, then I, like I said, I'm very humbled. I thank you um, for you that know who you are. I love you very much. It's nice to see you again. Um, but things have been going well. It's been busy. And to be honest, I just kind of got myself disconnected from the social networking. Um, but leading up to this point, and then I uh, went from like my HTC phone being on the fridge, which is like my main connection. My laptop is still the one that used to be married, old laptop, so it doesn't work too well. But it works. It gets the job done. It's not on it often. Um, HTC phone went on the fritz. Went back to an old Blackberry. They want to buy a new phone. That finally like blacked out BlackBerry style, and then so I got a deal and got an iPhone six. So uh, I'm hoping to do some more of these videos as things come along. But things have changed. Um, of course, my music love hasn't changed, and I but uh, I still have my same music collection. And I like to go thrifting and all that. But uh, I've been I guess I've been in a season, not more or less. I've been in a season of uh, collecting Blu-rays. Um, yeah, yeah. So I went to school for film. If people remember that. I did go to school for film. Um, kind of fell out a little bit of film. I fell out, but just got so into television that I kind of like lost that old passion I used to have of watching more and more films of different genres and different countries and all that. And uh, I got into podcasts, and podcasts kind of led me back into that in that world. I feel like in a way. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the Oscars. By the way, I was uh, really, really rooting for Eddie Redmayne to win for the Theory of Everything against Michael Keaton for Birdman, even though I like Birdman, and I'm really glad because I uh, love The Theory of Everything. A very warm movie, very romantic movie. Um, Mary's good. Um, we're past our year point in marriage, so I'm excited about that. And we just had our first cruise ever for our first year anniversary, and that was fun. And uh, we went to Florida for two nights beforehand to our Amelia Island property where we went for the uh, honeymoon. I got my Cigar City Brewery High Alive that I can only get in Florida or more or less can't get in Carolinas and that's great. But I have it now. Not great that I can't get it. And uh, it's amazing. So as Dr. Dad Wax would say, cheers. I'm turning into you more and more, Mark. I'm getting older. I'm married. I drink beer in my videos. I say cheers and I have a cat. And my cat love has grown sufficiently. Mwah. Mwah. She likes the kisses. So um, let's get right into it. I have books, music, and movies. I thought I'd just come back with a bang and kind of give you a little variety. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> I'll first get started with... Um, I haven't been reading this book. I mean, yeah, well, let me rephrase that. It's 150 pages. I've had the book for like a month and a half, and there's five, 460 pages. So I'm not obviously reading it fast, but I'm not a very fast reader. But this book is fantastic. The author's fantastic. I can't get enough of it. And it's one of those books that, I mean, I'm very busy. I also got a promotion in November. So praise the, praise God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I am doing really, really well, and I am um, feel highly favored. Um, but this actually is a book that I got from the public library as well as the other one. Um, that I feel like I can pick it up and just take off where I left off and it's fantastic And if you're a music lover, which all of you are then you should really check out this book 
Um, Michael Chabon, if I'm saying that right, Michael Chabon, I know he's a well-known dude. This is his, one of his newest books, I think it's his newest book from 2012, if I remember it right, called Telegraph Avenue. The author just writes in with such a way, I can't, it's hard to describe, I keep telling Mary about it. I mean, the metaphors, the way he describes things, he really is an amazing writer and a real genius. So, and man, if you were ever into a book for by its cover, the same way we look at our records, how amazing is this, right? But yeah, if you like, if you love your music and you love your novels and you haven't checked this out, please check out Telegraph Avenue. Let me know how you are liking it. Um, also, leave a comment and uh, I'll just see some comments in general. If you don't leave a comment, I don't take it personal. I completely understand, but I would love it to say hello. So, Telegraph Avenue. Try to keep moving because I feel like I still got 10 minute videos on YouTube. I only read through this briefly, but it doesn't take that long. I only read the first few pages, but I mean, it's a graphic novel, so I can read pretty fast. But I really, really liked the idea of it and the style of the art. This is Noah Van Skyver. I haven't read much at all, but I'm very interested. Noah Van Skyver. <clears throat> um, I guess he did the artwork and the writing. Um, it's called The Hypo, The Melancholic Young Lincoln. Noah Van Skyver has brought new soul to this hard, weird time in Lincoln's life. The Hypo is a story of suffering and yearning, artfully told. So it's a very interesting graphic novel about Lincoln's life. <clears throat> and uh, I really just love the style of artwork. So uh, I'm very interested again in this and uh, I look forward, to it. yeah, I mean, I, I, really, I, I can probably read this in a day. So I should just read it. <clears throat> um, how interesting is that, right? I'm so excited. The true story of Abraham Lincoln, young Abraham Lincoln, long well before he became our most beloved president, suffering from a dark cloud of depression dubbed the hypo by a chain of defeats and failures while trying to carve a career as a lawyer and politician. Really cool. And then last thing literary related, um, for Christmas, Mary got me this one little gift that was really cool and very thoughtful. I once mentioned to her that I had read this as a kid and then she knows I'm a collector. So she put these two things together and found this for me. And she got me a special collector's edition of Mad Magazine that's called Choice Cuts. I haven't read this since I was a kid. Realize as you're older how much Mad Magazine goes over your head with the political stuff and all this stuff. And I had so much fun. This chooses select, he's on um, the artist and the writers, sorry, the, yeah, the artist and the writers from Mad choose their favorite, um, great spy for spy, choose their favorite things from all different things, um, issues in the past, <clears throat> decades since the 50s and it was really sweet because that was her Christmas and for my birthday in January Mary got me a subscription so I'm waiting for that so she's kind of restarted my love for Mad Magazine and I don't know if she knows that's a good thing or not but so now with uh, music Mary got me some things for my birthday here she got me um, a CD of what's going on Marvin Gaye but it's the rarities edition Essential Collector's Tracks. It's pretty cool. It actually has a, I think like a 16 minute medley to start things off. And then it's like a live version of the entire, a live version of the full album, the album in full. So we've listened to this once through um, on Tamla. Then we have Otis Redding, records on the turntable right now. Otis Redding, Otis Redding sings the Sing Soul. Mary picked this out herself, didn't even ask for it, couldn't be happier, a lot of fun listening to it. One of those, you can just play it running whenever you want and it just always fits. And then I never actually owned a copy of Born in the USA. If people know me, they know I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan. I love, you know, I even like more like, you know, unpopular Bruce Springsteen. Like I think that The Ghost of Tom Joad is fantastic. I, just don't, I mean, people should know, like that album, but no one talks about it that much. I think I literally judged this record by its cover and just never was interested in the whole like America. But man, the album's great. I've been focused on the first side and it's fantastic, man. I never realized how good it was. I'm on fire, cover me. I mean, even Born in the USA, the song I've always known. This is my new, the new fresh sound of ears. What's banging? With a new fresh ears, a new sound. It's just the drums stand out to me. I see my time is at. Sorry to do this, just want to know. I can talk forever. Oh, and I'm about done. So maybe I should just do my Blu-ray videos next. So, love y'all. See you soon. Peace out. I'll do Blu-ray specifically.